Yes, sir. All right, uh, Shalom. Shalom. First off, we we'll give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And the sincere Shalom to all the Akim out here that's doing and pushing the work in truth and the sincerity. All right, as you can see, you know, I got Apostle Recall, you know, yeah. here, you know. Uh, we about to do a, a lesson, man, on uh, pretty much uh, take the things that we do and the things that we say with a grain of salt, God. you know, which um, this video is not uh, geared towards trying to change people's opinions about us, man, because for the, for the, for the most part, you people are already going to have your opinions anyway. You know yeah, what y'all say about us any damn way. You know you gonna talk shit about us any damn way. So gone. What, what what difference do it make? <laughs> you know what I mean? Gone. But the thing is that uh, this 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 world, everything that we say as far as Great Millstone is concerned and do is controversial. You know, to the point where when you when you look at the things that we say, you have to you have to take it with a grain of salt. As if, you know, uh, not necessarily being skeptical, but using proper discernment on what brothers are doing, you know, and what brothers are saying. Now, I got a quick scripture, you know, uh, for you. Uh, first, In other words, yeah, if I may yeah, yeah, say yeah. this right quick before we get right into this scripture, because we ain't going to do too much talking, we're going to go right into the scriptures, man, and just break the scriptures down. Basically, when we say certain things, you hear GMS, you hear the apostles and the elders, and uh, the other top men, the elders and uh, camp leaders and uh, priests and bishops and officers of the, of the of the GMS camps, you hear brothers say certain things. Mm -hmm. We say certain things, but it's only for brothers that's going to be able to get it, the elect. We always bring out the scriptures about, uh, like I always quote Matthew 13 and 9, mm -hmm. Yahweh Shah said, but unto them it is not given, but it's given unto you. So we'll say certain things. Outside of the scriptures, like we might give certain analogies or we'll say certain things, dealing with the women or anything. And some people, if you take every little thing that a man say and run with it, then of course you could twist that into, oh, that nigga going off. He crazy. He bugged out. Or that was effed up what he said. How could he say that? Well, how could he say that? How could he say this? So you brothers, this is for you brothers. The other wicked-ass, evil niggas out here, the scoffers and our enemies, no matter what we say or do, even if we change everything that we say, like all of our so-called critics mm -hmm. and enemies and uh, scoffers and all the people that want to critique every little thing we do or say, even if we so-called did a 360 and we say, okay, you guys are right, like the scoffers, if we say, okay, you our enemies and critics and scoffers, if we just woke up tomorrow morning and said, okay, you know what? You guys are right. You guys are right. We've been wicked. We, we repent. We repent. Y'all right, man. We repent. We're going to stop teaching this. We're going to, and, and, and what you guys are saying, uh, we're going to follow y'all. Like, you know what? They'll, then yeah. they'll really talk shit about us. Yep. See? See, they wicked. They wicked. Like, no matter what we do, even if we re so called repent according to them and say, you guys are right. We're wicked. We've been going off. But we repent, though. Mm hmm. They'll still curse us out. Yep. Because it's not about that. It's about they just wicked. That's why the scripture says, deliver us from wicked and unreasonable men. Yep. Because <laughs> no matter what we do, them niggas, then they'll still go and see that proved they were wicked. See? But then I thought it was about brotherhood. Like a lot of you niggas like to tell us we wicked and we need to repent. But even if we so-called repent according to your mind, you'll still hate our guts. Yeah. You're going to hate our guts no matter what. Because it's spiritual. It's deeper than what you... Your, your, your little pea brain, juju bean brain can understand. You niggas are demons. You are set up to be demons. You were always demons. And, and in the reincarnation, you were the same guys that came against Yahweh Shai and the prophets. Yep. And you're back here again doing the same thing until the Lord destroys you here on this side, man. Yep. But for the brothers that are really sincere, and you might get a little messed up over something you might hear Apostle Tahar or myself or Apostle Gabal or Ramlab say, you got to take certain things with a grain of salt. Like the Apostle Paul, he would say certain things, but then he would be like, look, I, Paul, speak as a man. Like the Apostle Paul said, listen, it is good that a man not touch a woman. Mm -hmm. But so does that mean that brothers can't have a, a woman? No, because then Paul came back and said, listen, man, if you burn, then your, your, your rod get hard, and you want some pussy, 
get you a woman. Yeah. Don't sit there with your ride hide. Yep. Okay, you understand what I mean? Yep. Yeah, uh, look in the past. I'm sorry, I'm gonna let you come in. Y'all done heard of Apostle Gabar or Apostle Tahar, certain brothers. What the hell with these women? This this best to be by yourself. Yeah. But, and that's cool. Because sometimes it is better to be by yourself. Because these women bring nothing but drama and demons. Yeah. But that don't mean that you brothers don't get simple, man. Or like sometimes you heard certain brothers, the elders, the apostles say, look, man, don't be having no kids. Like I've said it. And I'll say it again. Yeah, I, that, but see, I'm going to use that as an example. I'm going to be honest. Some of you brothers have had children. You, you, you get with a chick. She might get pregnant. And but you, you can't tell her to get an abortion. You got to deal with it. That's your yeah. seed, right? So you deal with that. But that don't mean you committed a sin because you hear the apostles or elders or somebody say, look, brother, the hell with these women. Don't be having babies with these women. That's just sound advice. Yeah. It's better that you don't, if, if, if it's all possible, try your best not to spill no seed in these women. Yeah. Because they're demons, man. You get yeah. these women pregnant, and then the shit don't work out. They want to take you to child support. And you just got a whole bunch of hell to deal with. So you brothers that don't have no seed, you know, if you can, try to avoid it. But yeah. at the end of the day, it's the spirit of the Lord. Yeah. If, yeah. if your girlfriend or your woman get pregnant, then you got to deal with that. Yeah. So that's that's not what we're talking about. Yeah. Yeah. Like, brothers, don't, you you didn't hear a brother say certain things. So let's say your girlfriend, you find out your girlfriend is pregnant tonight. You all messed up in the head. Oh, but the apostle said, yo, man, don't be getting these women pregnant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you thinking you wicked. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, 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 um. The 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 uh, like how brothers say uh, don't deal with the nigga woman. Thank you. That's another <laughs> if thing. You, if you end up with a nigga woman, man, yeah, like yeah. That, that ain't, you ain't gonna get kicked out the cab. Thank you. That's a just, you got a, <laughs> I'm glad you said that. Because <laughs> you got a nigga. Yeah, woman. but you know, man, we get on the <laughs> we get on the black woman, man. We can't stand the damn nigga woman. But look, man, look, you dudes. Oh man, we do this. Paul, I really can't. Hey, like you somewhere and a fine looking so called black woman wanna get with you. But you like, nah, man, I fuck you, bitch. I and the bitch is throwing it to you. Yeah. Should be a good, you know. Nah, because they said don't deal with the black. Look, man, look, brother, I don't deal with the nigga woman, but I deal with the women of the other tribes. Yeah. yeah, and I deal with the women of the other nations, too. Yeah. I'll deal with the white, the white woman. Yeah. And she want to give me some box? Yeah, I'm like, nah. Like, that old man, look, first, a lot of you guys, first of all, a lot of you guys are Johnny come lately. So. Yeah. You, and the most of you guys talking shit are you punk, you new age, you Israelite guys that just came out of nowhere. I've been do, I was doing this thing before most of you guys were born. First of all, man, back in the days, yeah, that was the standard. When I first came in the truth back in One West, uh, you can't, look, brothers can't deal with Edomite women. You don't be dealing with no Edomite women. But then guess what? Some of them so-called top elders back in the school, they were popping Edomite women on, on the low. But telling the congregation don't do it. Like Apostle Tahar said, and this is true. A woman is just a goddamn woman. This is all about getting some pussy, man. Yeah. We're not here to be in no... Uh, see, I'm going to say something right now. Dude's going to get messed up over. But, but if this is real talk. We ain't really here to be all caught up into no woman. Yeah. In a, I'm in a relationship. I'm in a relationship. You in a relationship with Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah. Yeah. You ain't here to fucking act like you in a soap opera with no woman. All that lovey-dovey shit. But, you know, whatever. Look, man, when you ain't doing the work, you with your woman, you with your woman. That's your time. But you ain't here to be all caught up into your woman. You're supposed to be caught up into this truth, man. Mm -hmm. When you ain't doing the work of the Lord, you get with your woman, you get with, a, you get with a woman, then that's your time. That's your personal business on the side. Yep. You understand what I'm saying? But if you meet a black woman and she want to give you some bucks, brother, go for it. You ain't gonna get kicked out of GMS because you dealing with a black woman. Oh man, don't be simple. See, that's that's the title of this lesson. Yeah, yep. Brothers, don't be simple. You know what I mean? Take what we say with a grain of salt sometimes, man. God. <laughs> uh, Titus uh, nine. I mean one and nine. It says holding fast the faithful word. And I'm gonna say something. The black woman, the Puerto Rican, put the goddamn Ephraimite woman is a demon. The Gadite woman is a demon. All the women of the tribes are demons. Yep. The, to keep it real, all yep. the other women, the, the nigga woman, man, all the, all the Israelite women are wicked. Yep. If you got a Mexican woman, she wicked. You got a Puerto Rican woman, she wicked. As, them Puerto Rican women are wicked as hell. Them Ephraimite women are wicked as all hell. They all about adultery. They, they witchcraft. 
A lot of these bitches, man, you, they, they, your woman should be consulting witches, fortune tellers and shit. And so all the women are wicked. Yep. Okay? So you might get with a so-called black woman that she might be okay, but a goddamn Ephraimite woman is a complete demon. Like, it just, it just it's a shuffle now, man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. You know what I mean? Uh, Titus 1 and 9. It says, holding fast the faithful word as he has been taught. It says that he may be able by sound doctrine both to exhort and convince the gainsayers. You know, so when, when we uh, speak about, you know, the... Uh, don't deal with the nigga woman, right? Ain't to say that you don't don't you know you can't go get one, you know. But but you gotta know that when brothers are saying the sound thing like yo don't deal with the nigga woman, that if you end up with a heartache, you end up on child support or you know she end up committing adultery on you, you you understand because brothers brothers said it, man, you know. So it's like that that wisdom that brothers are saying. So it says for there are many. Unruly and vain talkers and deceivers, especially they of the circumcision. You know, so you got so called brothers that's in the truth. Yep. Of the certain brothers that are woke up, that are circumcised in the mind and the spirit. Meaning the Jews, like the Jews back in them days of the circumcision, they were the guys back in Jerusalem that were keeping the law. They were so called full time Israelites. Mm -hmm. Now today that would be interpreted as so called brothers in the truth. Yep. Israelite guys as opposed to niggas in the world. The Jakes in the world, they have the uncircumcision. Because these guys out here in the world that haven't woken up to Israel, they're uncircumcised in the mind. They don't know that they're Israelites. Yep. And I got a, a scripture for you for them guys that, that are out there in the world still in the matrix, right? Yeah, <laughs> when yeah. You, when you come out that matrix, right, here go the scripture, First Peter uh, 2 and 2. As newborn babes desire the sincere milk, of the word that you may grow thereby. And uh, when you first come into the truth of knowing that you're an Israelite, right? Uh, there are key points that you should know in this in this truth. You know, like, all right, I, I know I'm an Israelite. You know, whatever, I'm, uh, whatever tribe it is, you know, I know I'm an Israelite. I know America is Babylon yeah, the yeah. Great. You know, I know that Esau is the so-called white man. Okay, I know that, that the Lord... It's going to destroy uh, America with thermonuclear destructions. I mean, uh, yeah, destruction. Okay. Uh, I know I have to keep the faith. I, I, I know the name. You know? And we was going into that earlier because you got this group that that's called ISUBK that they know the, the milk. They teach you the milk. They, they know the name Yahweh, Yahweh, Shah. You know? They show you that you're an Israelite. You know? Yeah, it's about the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. But then when, when they get to the meat part, they don't understand it. Yo, man, they get a little lost. See, they're good, like Apostle Tahar statement, entry-level Israelites. See, like them guys, they're good for what they are set up for. They're entry-level Israelites. Like, if you go to ISUPK, listen, they're going to teach you the truth. You're going to get, which, which to a Jake in the world, that's deep. And that's good. Like, if you a Jake, a simple-minded nigga in the world, and you come upon an ISQPK camp, and they got the 12 tribes signed, they're going to give you what you need to know. The foundation, the stuff. They're good for that. They're foundation guys. Like, they'll set you up with the foundation, because they're going to tell you, look, man, you're an Israelite. You ain't no Negro. You ain't no Puerto Rican. You ain't no Native American. You're an Israelite from this tribe, that tribe. And they're going to tell you, look, man, the Lord who you call Christ, his really name is Yahweh Shah. And, they're gonna, and one thing I'll say about them, they will give you the, unlike IUIC, they're going to give you the name. Yeah. They are. Yep. They use the name. ISUPK, uh, uh, HODC, you know, House of David, uh, Barack and Bunyam and them guys. You go to them, they're going to teach you the name of the Lord. Yep. So that's one good thing about them. They ain't going to tell you Christ. They're going to say his name is Yahweh, the Most High, Yahweh Shah. Mm -hmm. And they're going to tell you and whatever, they're going to give you the name, which that's a very important, that in itself is deep. Yep. But they're, so there are good things that them brothers are going to give you. So like, you know what I mean? We get, on them on, we get on them guys on certain things, they get on us, but we get on them because they go off on stuff. But then again, we get, you know, we, uh, look, hey man, at the end of the day, they still Israelites too. They're still Israelites, they're brothers, mm -hmm. and they out there teaching, they all still out there teaching. So we can't get on them too much. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, 
if you go to ISUPK or you go to HODC, they're going to teach you that you are Israelite. Well, even I, well, well not, I, I, not IUIC. Well, no, even I, you know, uh, Nate, even yeah. Nate is going to tell you you are Israelite. He's going to tell you, he's going to give you the 12 tribes. They're entry level Israelites. He's going to give you that, uh, you know, you, you got to keep the laws of the Most High, which you do. Yeah. They're going to tell you you got to wear the border blue and the, which all that is true. It's not a lie. Yeah. When, when IUIC tells you that you're an Israelite, which is an important thing, and they tell you about, you know, you look, you from the tribe, of, you're an Israelite from the tribe of so-and-so, and they said you got to keep the laws of the Most High, Passover, and all that, which you do. Right. And then you got to uh, wear a border of blue and fringes on your garment, you know what I'm saying? Right. You do got to do all that. That's why we, that's why we wear the garments. That's right. why we up here with the garments. Yeah. You know, that's why we got the border of blue and the fringes on our garments when, when we teach. Okay? You see what I'm saying? Yeah. You got to grow your beard and all, whatever. But the only thing with IUIC, they're going to come at you talking about Christ. That's where they, see, they go off the, they go off the reservation with that. Yeah. But the only thing, ISUPK and even HODC, they're going to tell you, look, brother, the real name of the Most High is Yahweh, and the son's name is Yahweh Shah. They got the name. So that's one thing they got up on IUIC. Yeah, they got the milk. They got the they, they got the milk. They don't got the they don't got the meat. See IUIC, they're giving you tainted milk. Yeah. <laughs> Yo. Yep. But we ain't gonna sit there and think of trying to just get on them guys. Yeah. But I'm giving them props. Yeah. When you when you going to uh, Zabak, the, you know you got the brother yeah, out there, Zabak. You go to him, you're gonna get the milk. He's gonna give you that pure milk. Yeah. Because he'll tell you the Israelite, the tribes, he's gonna give you the name of the Lord, he's mm -hmm. gonna give you certain factors, man. Now, when you're going yeah. to them them groups. They don't really teach the uh the market of beasts the R F I H. Yeah. Well, H O D C yeah. do. H O D C. Uh, General Yohanna, he goes off. The man Bargo, that's where they, he goes off. Yeah. But uh, I will say this: H O D C, the House of David. Out of all the other groups, they're the most on point outside of G M S. Yeah. Because uh, they they will tell you them brothers teach that. They teach that the market of beasts is the check. Right. Okay. I gotta I gotta call it tell tell the truth. Props to them for for that. So now, the spirit is working with right. them a little, yeah. If I could get this scripture, yeah. uh, because one thing that they uh, ISUPK go off on is, um, you know, they say that the people that that, that are over there in Africa, you know, in the western parts, so I could be wrong that they probably changed it now, you know. But um, they were saying that they're not Israelites, you know, because they're not really deep, and and uh, they're not deep. They're yeah. entry level Israelites. See, and then there, that well, that that thing. With the, with the uh, as we call it, confusion of faces. Confusion of faces. Yep. That's where a lot of them guys get messed up on. Yep. Because they still caught up in that old one west, everything is black and white mentality. Mm -hmm. Back in one west. Yeah. Which I was there. I came up in one with the, the guys from the HODC, the guys from IUF, like the elders of it, like Nate and General Yohanna and certain guys. Yo, I came up with them guys. We, I, we, I, we remember... Almost, it's been almost 30 years now. Right. Okay? We remember back in the early 90s, that's the, the, the vibration. All the, like, all the Israelites came over here on the slave Like, uh, all the Negroes, every single Israelite came over here on the slave ships. Yeah. And there were no jakes left back there. And all the so-called Negroes, all Israel was just in America. There were no other, they didn't teach that. Even though the scripture said Israel is scattered in the four corners. Yeah. So what did that scripture mean? Yeah. What did that mean? Yeah. Going back to the ancient world, Israel was scattered all over, and going back to even, come on, during the World War One, World War Two, Vietnam, you had Israelite soldiers going out there amongst these other nations fighting and leaving their seed over there. Right. When them Jakes went to Vietnam, of all the tribes, because all the tribes fought in Vietnam mm -hmm. back in the 60s and the 70s, them damn Negro and Latino and Native American soldiers, they wasn't over there popping them little gook women and leaving seed. World War II, World War I, them jakes wasn't over there popping them women. They made movies about it. Yeah. Germany, France, you know. And France, Germany, come on, man. Um, North Africa, they were all over. I got a scripture, uh, John 6 and 63. It is the spirit that quickeneth the flesh profit of nothing. So when we say Bruce Lee is an Israelite, right? Mm -hmm. We're not saying that Bruce Lee is a, 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 a an elect. We're not saying Bruce Lee is a garment. 
Well, Bruce Lee's in the spirit world anyway. Yeah. He could be back in the reincarnation now. He's been gone for over over almost 40 years. He yeah. could be back. But if, even if he's not, if he's still in the spirit, as far as we know, he's still in the spirit world anyway. Yeah. As far as we know. The most I could have sent the spirit back. But he ain't of the elect. Yeah. If he was here, he's not of the elect. Throw him a garment. John Travolta, we going to say it again? Yes, John yeah. Travolta is an Israelite. Robert De Niro is an Israelite. Yeah. And there's a few more guys as Israelites that are going to lose it. Quentin Tarantino. Quentin, oh, come on. He's an Israelite. You seen Bruce Lee's uh, daughter, man. You know? That got to be a, a Jake. Come on. She, had, she could pass for a Latin woman. Yeah. She act like it. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> so so yeah, certain God. people, we say that because we're going in the spirit on that. God. That's a spiritual thing. God. But that don't mean... If John Travolta come to the camp, we're going like to put him on garments garments get in the camp, brother. We're going to curse his ass out. But then wait a minute. Denzel, right? He's a straight up Negro. Yeah. If Denzel come, we ain't putting that nigga in the camp. Yeah. If Wesley Snipes come, we ain't putting his ass in the camp. Yeah. And wait a minute. By the way, Wesley Snipes did come by our camp years ago. Yeah. Before the whole YouTube thing. We were speaking on 34th. Wesley Snipes actually came to our camp. Yeah. Don Cheeto came to our camp. Uh, Bo King Woodbine came by our camp on 34th and 7th. Man, oh, in New York City, all kind of celebrities done walked by. You, you understand what I'm saying? Gone. Mike Tyson have come by the camp in New York many times, man. But that don't mean them niggas are the elect. Floyd Mayweather was just recently by the camp down there. Yep. Them guys don't know about us. They know all about us, man. Yep. But they ain't gonna come because they of the world, man. Yep. And um, if I could get this scripture... God. Because uh, 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 Mario Van Peebles, he used to come by, he used to actually come, oh, Don Paul Mooney, mm -hmm. we know Paul Mooney, man, we know him, he used yep. to come by, we used to speak in Harlem, like I said, this is before the YouTube, before most, this is before YouTube, at one point we were speaking up in front of the state building in Harlem, back in the early 2000s, 2001, 2002, 3, Paul Mooney used to walk by the camp all the time and say shalom to us and all that, he know our faces and all that, man. He used to walk by the camp all the fucking time, Paul Mooney. And be like, hey, show on, brother, show on. Right. Okay? Back in the 90s, Mario Van Peebles. This is back in the old One West days. Mario Van Peebles, he used to come to the camp all the time and stand there and listen. And take the literature. That was back when we had to lit. Mario Van, he used to be in the crowd. I remember seeing him in the crowd. And he was standing there listening for hours. Right. And he took the literature and all that. And then shortly after that, that's when he made that movie Posse. Paul Mooney, once again, Paul Mooney used to listen to us back in the 90s. He used to be in the audience listening and take the literature and all that, man. Ice-T, Ice-T, there's a video. There may be some of you guys that might still have that video. I believe Apostle Toha might have it. Ice-T, my man, Ice-T. This was back in the 90s. This was back when he was on hot, when he was a hot rapper. And he had that fine-ass woman with him. Mm -hmm. Ice-T, man. Apostle Tahar, I believe, was speaking. Okay? Apostle Tahar was the one that was dealing with him. Ice-T, he was at the camp, listening, they had him on camera and all that. Right. The video's out there, somebody got that footage, and he took the literature, and he, he was down, all that. Right. So these celebrities know who we are, man. Going back 30 years ago. God, God. Um, uh, this is uh, 2 Corinthians 7 and 1. Uh -huh. Right. It says, having therefore these promises, dearly beloved, let us cleanse ourselves from all filthiness of the flesh and spirit, perfecting holiness in the fear of Yahweh by Simeon Shah. It says, receive us. We have wronged no man. We have corrupted no man. We have defrauded no man. And and this goes into when when people look at Great Millstone. They looking at us like we bringing in guys to be niggas, you know? <laughs> uh, we're, like we're defrauding guys, you know, getting over on people. And I have to say this too, Apostle, because like, for example, you're you're an apostle, right? When, when not even just an apostle, but any brother go anywhere in any state, you know, brothers are supposed to be hospitable, man. Which technically, this man is an apostle too. The word apostle simply means sent forth. All you brothers are technically apostles, spiritually. Okay, I'm just keeping it real. Come on. Okay, brothers call us the apostles. That's just the title. Okay, we're we're really okay. You, 
really was, we're, you know, we're, we're, we are the elders of the congregation. But technically, all you brothers are apostles, man. Sent right. forth. You understand what I'm saying? Right. And and when when they come, or any brother, brothers are supposed to, to show that same hospitality to everybody, man. You know, and be in order. You know? You got you got people that, you know, make a big deal out of the fact that, um, you know, uh, certain things may be asked for out of you. You know, like carnal things or whatever. But do, when you look at the, when you go into it, it's all spiritual, man. Well, what's the scripture? You know? What did Paul say? What did the apostle Paul say? If we read to you our spiritual things, is it not wrong? Right? You read us your carnal things? Yeah. What's wrong with that? That's scriptural. So, yo, you damn right. We have a right to ask for uh, tights. We have a right, as the elders of the congregation, right? We have a right to ask, look, brother, I'm asking for uh, tights. We asking for a priest fund, a collection. There's yeah. nothing wrong with that. You yeah. understand what I'm saying? That's in the scriptures. It's scriptural. But yeah. see, when a wicked nigga asks for money, it's okay. Yeah. Creep show dollar, when he get the money from his congregation, they give it with love. Yeah. Yeah. No He's, he was crip walking on the money. Yeah. But niggas accept that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and we... You know, we we you know it's out of respect, man. You know the the father figures having you know uh, brothers that you may not have in real life. You know now one of the reasons why I wanted to bring this scripture out is because you know uh, you got some milk scriptures that are as far as the um, the law go, right? For example, like you know that as, you, you know as an Israelite, you're not supposed to be having sex with you know another man. You know, or going into another man's uh, woman, right? But then you also got meat scriptures that are in the, uh, the law also, you know? Like, for example, if a woman, it, back in ancient history, if a woman had a uh, had a man and she ain't had no child, and that, that, that father was to pass away, I mean, the, the guy was to pass away, the next thing Ken, the brother, is supposed to, 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 to bring back that uh, that lineage, man. Yeah. That brother. That's if. That's if. The brother, that, if the brother didn't have, bear no seed, bear no seed. Like in other words, uh, if a man married a woman, I said it's my brother, and I had a woman, and then I died without putting seed in my woman. He's supposed to get with her only to produce seed. Really, only he ain't supposed to marry her, just pop up, so that our seed, the seed of his brother, can keep. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. But if you try to do that nowadays, people will say, "Oh, you wicked." You know, stoning in a uh, um, uh, a rebellious son. You know, which if you when you if you look look into it, a lot of you people would be stoned. You know, jer uh, seriously, man. You know, but uh, you got the 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 I gotta say it, the the rape uh, uh, law, oh boy, man. Oh boy. You know, which you you people can't take that with a grain of salt, man, because it's it's unsavory to you. You know. No, because it's not world friendly doctrine. Which, this world, when you have rapists running loose in this fucking world, it's okay for women to walk around dressed like harlots, but you're going to talk about some rape. Which we, we have never advocated that you actually can go out and rape a woman. Yeah. We were talking about uh, what was in the scriptures. Yeah. Which Apostle Tahar, when he was dealing with that asshole polite, that's all he said was, look, it's in the scriptures. Yeah. But when do we ever say, look, brothers, it's okay to go rape a bitch, yeah. man? You do that, you know damn well you're going to prison. Yeah. They, they locked up Mike Tyson. Hey, they locked up Tupac. Yep. <laughs> right? Yep. So come on, man. Yep. And nowadays these bitches crying rape. If you have sex with a woman consensually, she can turn around and say you raped her. So yeah. come on. Why would we advocate you look go out and rape a bitch? Yeah. Or spend little kids. We, they said GM, and you niggas, some of you niggas are still going around saying that GMS teaches okay to rape little kids. And we never said that. But that's okay. The Bible tells you about bearing false witness. See, the, the, with a grain of salt. That's why Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, going to kill all you wicked niggas that's going around bearing false witness on us and yeah. lying on us, man. But you niggas are nothing but dry snitches. You talking about you Israelites and you hate Esau. But no, you don't. Because you're, you're, you're talking about raping women. Because really, your hope. Is that by saying that that the white man will roll on us, yeah. which you claim to hate the white man? Yeah. So really, when you do that, you're dry snitching. Like yeah, you do. Gee, mess. They think you can rape little girls. Yeah. Which we never said that. Which we never fucking said that. We never said 
you can go out and rape, which Nate, Nate can't fuck Nate, the faggot asshole he is. He, hey, hey, you gotta make, hey, get out of the house. Well, we never said that. Apostle the heart never said that. That's sick. But for somebody to say that, for that comes out, for that to come out of a man's mouth, that man is a sick, sadistic man, because maybe that's in his mind. Yeah. Maybe, maybe Nate believes in raping eight-year-old little girls. For him to say that about somebody, man. Yeah. We never said no shit like that. We was just bringing out what was in the scriptures, man. Yeah. In the ancient world. Because in the ancient world, at the age of 12, not this faggot world we live in now, and that's when you became a man. And that's when a woman became a woman, when things were in their right order. And the proof on that, even in America, it was that way. Like I always said, watch that movie, The Color Purple. In the movie, them dudes were getting with them women. When Danny Glover got with Celie's character, she was 12, 13. That's amongst Jake here in the South, in America, back in the turn of the century, the 1800s. Yeah. And it wasn't just that way amongst Jake. It was that way amongst everybody. Esau and Jake, man. People, they got married that when they were teenagers, you got married. Yeah. You got to take that with a grain of salt, man. You wait till you was no fucking 30 years old to get married. Them dudes back then, in the 1800s in America, they, when they got with their wife, they, was, they were 13, 14. Yeah. 12, 13, 14. Because they knew. Because they were still living according to the ancient world. Yeah. Even back in the 1800s, that was like the last part of like the ancient world still right. going on. Before the technology came in. Right? Right. I got When you watch them old cow when you watch them cowboy movies, they show you that. Them right. dudes were getting with the chicks young. Yep. Um, this is Job six and six. It says, Can that which is unsavory be eaten without salt? Right? And when you go into the um the word unsavory, that means that which is foolish, you know, be eaten without salt. So when you look at the things that we present, right, as the men of the Lord, you know. That, you know, when we say certain things, like as far as the, the scriptures go, y'all look at it like it's foolishness, but you got to take it and see, see what, what the spirit is that we're saying it in, you know? So then it says... Well, you have to have a spiritual mind. Like the yeah, yeah. Uh, 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 <laughs> but, but the carnal man cannot receive the things of the spirit of the Most High because yep. they are foolishness yep. onto him. Yep. So if you don't have a spiritual mind, you're not going to get it anyway. You'll yep. never get it. You will never get it. Yep. Why? Yep. Because it's not meant for you anyways. Yep. It says, or is there any taste in the white of an egg? You know? And when you go into the, the egg. Well, that's the healthiest part of the egg. Yeah. When you when you go into it, they, nowadays they're trying to bring out the fact, oh, you're not supposed to eat eggs. Well, the scriptures say that we can eat eggs. That's right. <laughs> you know? And then you, you get that. You What's in the middle of the egg, man? The yolk. Which that's the part with the most cholesterol. Egg whites, the, the, the white of the egg is the healthiest part of the egg. That has no cholesterol in it, or less cholesterol, God. if any. That's why they get it. When you go to the diner, the, the healthy man, egg white omelet. Right. <laughs> right. You know? Which God. is good, too. It do taste good. It has a taste to it. God, God. So, so when you look at the things that we do also, y'all got to realize that we're not perfect, man. Well, we're you humans. We're just men. We're just fucking men. Like, case in point, I was thinking about this earlier. Niggas put up, like, you know, with the scoffers and they do videos on, look at this nigga. He doing this. Or he got a biker jacket. Or he with this woman or that woman. They are like faggot homosexual shit. Yeah. That you niggas do. Well, what? I'm just a man. I never said I was Yahweh shot. I'm looking for salvation. I'm looking for repentance. Anyway. Yeah. But I'm still here doing the work of the Lord. Yep. Still here. <laughs> And what? And first of all, the woman thing, these homo niggas that put pictures up of other men with their women and their kids, that's just a homosexual and a bug out. Yeah. Why would another man be so concerned about what another man is doing in his personal life? Unless you're obsessed with that man, which means you're a homosexual. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead, man. You people are walking as uh, men, man. You know, when you go into the scriptures, Israel was a spiritual people, man. We had judgment, man. You know? Nowadays, y'all people lack judgment and spirituality, man. You know? But um, this is uh, Colossians 4 and 6, right? It says, let your speech be always with grace. It says, season it with salt, right? <laughs> season it with salt, right? Yeah. Now, I'm, you know, I'm going to get this definition for the word uh, salt, right? Yeah, go into it, my brother. 
<laughs> teach, crazy. brother, teach. <laughs> I'm gonna play the, the Greek. Strong's G two seventeen, Halas, Halas. Right, and it says, uh, I'm gonna get this one. It says salt is a symbol of lasting concord because it protects food from putrefaction and preserves it unchanged. Yeah, because in the ancient world you didn't have refrigerators, so how they would preserve the meat? They would pack it in salt. That's why today, well, they still do that today. But the only problem is the salt they use today is that white diluted table salt, yeah. which is what gives your ass high blood pressure. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. It kills you. The salt they were using back then was that natural sea salt of the pink Himalayan dude. That was real salt. Yep. Yep. But it's a preservant. That's why a lot of these stuff you buy in the supermarket has high, that is high in sodium. Yep. A box of macaroni and cheese or a pack of sausage or chicken or meat. The sodium count is always high because that's a preservant. To right. When they pack the meat and ship it to preserve it. Right. Yeah. Then it says, wisdom and grace exhibited in speech. So when we say things, right, through the spirit, okay, what you got to understand that it's the Lord who, who puts the words in people's mouths anyway, you know. When we say things, of course, we have to say, you know, with salt so that, you know, by us being basically spiritual selves, we have to basically cut up this word, okay, in order for you to digest it the proper way. You know, so when we say Bruce Lee is an Israelite, you know, we go through the, through the milk. You ain't going to get that if you ain't you ain't going through the milk, man. That's meat. That's yeah, meat. That's meat. You know, but. Which he is a, or he yeah. was an Israelite. <laughs> yeah. And he going to be an Israelite. Bruce Lee going to be in the kingdom because we know for a fact through the spirit he, he was an Israelite. Yep. Okay. So. so the, he wasn't no more, but he does. He sure as hell wasn't no more bite. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So so we how, picture that we uh, as a chef, we just give you some straight raw uncooked meat, you know, which don't make no sense. We just speaking out of our own uh, mind, you know. When you're going to uh, receiving everything with a grain of salt, you know that's trusting in your heart by some y'all side with all your heart, man, and leaning out on to your own understanding, man. You know, because that's what a lot of people are here doing. They leaning on to their understanding and not taking the things that we're saying wisely, okay, through the scriptures. Because you're and fucking, using wisdom. Because you're fucking idiots. Yep. Not the brothers that's sincere, meaning the assholes out there. You're fucking idiots, and you ain't gonna get it no way. Yep. Um, I got one more scripture, God, and I guess God. we can uh, end it on God. that one. <laughs> yeah, because this this ain't for everybody, man. This truth ain't. Can't pick up this Bible and you know think you're gonna get it, man. Yeah. Um. This is uh, Romans 14 and 17, right? It says, "For the kingdom of Yahweh Shem Yahshua is not meat and drink, right?" When we when we say what this truth is actually about, man. Okay, we ain't gonna be in, in the kingdom, you know, going out on the highway and hedges, no, trying to done. wake up our people. That's done. Jake, our people are gonna be woke up in the kingdom. That's what we gotta teach now. Because in the kingdom, we ain't going to be going out speaking. We ain't going to be doing videos in the kingdom. There's going to be no need. Because yep. Israel going to be woke up in the kingdom. Yep. It says, but righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Spirit. It says, for he that in these things serve Yahweh Sah is acceptable to Yahweh Basim Yahweh Sah and approved of men. Let us therefore follow after the things which make for peace and things wherewith one may edify one another. You know, so so when somebody when, when brothers say something, of course you you know that brothers got their opinions on different things, you know, but when it comes down to the actual spirit and, and, and linking up, we all come together under the banner of Yahweh Bashim outside, man. You know, and not try to uh make a name for ourselves, you know. But the Lord is gonna make a name for you on anyway. You know, uh, that's one thing people can't can't get. They can't understand that you gotta be patient, man. Cause y'all want that stuff right now, man. Y'all want y'all glory right now. You know, y'all can't come up out of this world. Y'all just, you know, when it comes time to, to, to actually study, you know, to actually put that work in, you know, not, you know, not just going out on the highway and hedges. That's a major part, you know, but you actually got to put this work in, man. You know, actually study, actually, you know, uh, be a part, put this, this word in you, man. You know, but have it in your digestive system, just digestive system, man. You know, um... It says, for meat destroys not the work of Yahweh Shem Yahweh 
All things indeed are pure, but it is, it is evil for that man who eats with offense. You know, and then next thing you know, you find yourself in this golf field, you know, and everything that brothers are saying, you just eating it, you know, just to offend brothers. But hey, what the Lord said. Demon. What the Lord, that, that, it, it, it must needs be that these offenses come, man. You know, that's why the Lord testified, you know, that the works of this world was evil, man. You know, and that's why y'all, y'all, y'all killed y'all by, I mean, y'all was shot, man. You know, so that's pretty much it. Come. You know, so that's it, man. So with that, brother, like uh, the brother was explaining, certain things that are said, you gotta, you, you gotta use the spiritual common sense, and that's it. Use spiritual common sense, man. Okay, don't be simple. And you gotta pray to the Lord sometimes with the sermon on certain things that are said, man. Okay, yep. that's why you gotta be into the scriptures. Yep. You know. God. Hey, well, with that, you know, we want to say uh, shalom. Shalom to the brothers of the elect. Shalom. All right.